Hey everyone, welcome back to Beekeeping Like a Girl, or welcome to If You Are New, I'm Natalie. Today we're going to do a couple of different things, but we're going to start off with just feeding this colony. So let's go ahead and start with that. So this is, this is a double deep right here, as you can see. I'm just going to open up the lid, and I don't think that they have a frame feeder in currently, so I brought an extra one to put in. A, a roach, of course, but let's just open up this inner cover. So they don't have a, um, a feeder, a frame feeder, but... <coughs> Almost looks like they don't need one because I can see the honey from up top already. This frame has a bunch of honey on it also. Maybe we won't be feeding this time today. Alright, we're gonna, I guess, not feed it. We're gonna do a patty or something. But I'm not sure exactly how to do that with what we're doing next. So let's go ahead and just do that first. Um, Alright, so we're going to be doing a double screen board, which I have never done before. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started and show you kind of how because we made this so I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit on how we did that so we're slowly moving over to migratory lids I think that's how you pronounce it and with those you don't you don't use an inner cover and we don't want to let those inner covers go to waste so what we did was uh, I guess repurpose it is the word so we made a um, double screen board and so I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit on how we did that and so like I said, this is homemade. So uh, this wood right here is Luan wood. Um, I think that's what it was called on both sides. So here and over here. And then this hole was cut out with a jigsaw. And then uh, just a eighth inch screen on both sides also, which we just used some staples to put that in. And then um, you've got this little notch right here because this is gonna be the entrance for the top hive, actually. I was gonna say the bottom hive, but it's gonna be the top one. So, yeah, that's pretty much how we did this. It's super easy if you wanna try it out. And so I think that's pretty much it. I think we can go ahead and already put it on. So you just put this right on top, kind of like an inner cover. Well, it is an inner cover actually, but anyways, not funny. Moving on. Over here, this is the migratory lids that I was talking about that doesn't use an inner cover. And so I'm going to put this hive on top of this hive. So that'll be fun for you to watch, but not fun for me to do because it's probably going to be heavy. Um, hopefully it's not too heavy. The thing is, I want it to be heavy because then you now that knows that they're a little bit stronger and that's good, but then at the same time, makes it really hard for me to uh, move them over. So anyways, let's see see if I can. Let's just see how heavy it is. Alright, well, it's pretty heavy. Um, let's see, I think I'm just going to move them over and then I'll take the lid off. I don't know if I can lift this, but let's see. I have to cut that. Alright, well, I got it on top, so that's a step. I hate to say it, but 
Yeah, it's a little too heavy for me. Let's just say I'm not sure how much editing I'm gonna have to do on that, but anywho, um, I got it on, that's all that matters, right? Bees are super happy with me now, though. All right, so now I get to open them up and um, let out the mean bees. So, okay, wait, before I do that, so right here, for a second I was worried that I put the entrance at the wrong spot, but no, right here is their entrance now. So this is basically a lid for this hive and a bottom board for this hive. So anyways, now let's open them up. And so basically what this does is this hive is going to create warmth for this hive up here, which should help them out a good amount throughout the winter time. we go so I'm gonna switch the lid out because I'm going to put this right on top so this is just a um I just lost the word this is styrofoam, styrofoam? yeah that's what it's called all right so this is styrofoam and you're supposed to paint this before you put it on um, and we're doing this kind of at our own risk unfortunately but we just didn't have enough time to paint it but you should really really paint these before you put it on so um let's see now we are going to put the inner cover back on and then we're going to put this on so we're going to put this on and then we're going to put this right on top of it it's it's not that hard to do it's just hard for me so but no, it shouldn't be that hard if you want to try this out. So anyways, I probably struggled a little bit more than you're supposed to, but that's okay. Well, anywho, then you're going to put this lid on. And we have another lid that I just didn't bother to take off another hive and switch it out. Um, but it would have come down a lot farther, and so you wouldn't even see the inner cover. But I think this will work we have another hive that looks just like this and the lid is still on perfectly fine and everything so there we go now it looks like we've got a really cool impressive hive but really it's just two hives connected but anyways there you go i think that's pretty much it so oh and yeah the foragers that come back here we're willing to risk those um just so that we can experiment this and it should be fine anyways because most likely they're going to go into this hive or this one and help them out. That's pretty much about the double screen board. We'll do another video probably on it just to see how they're doing because unfortunately we won't really know until um, a little while to see how much it's helping them. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Follow along for more bee adventures and be here next time on Beekeeping Like a Girl.